what is the favorite, your favorite piece that you've ever written? Oh man, that's a good question. My favorite piece I've ever written was about um, what whales see in the ocean. And like, there's a guy who uh, wrote a book that was all about taking life-size photos of whales. So he went out there with a camera and stood there with like one of these super fancy like DSLRs, even fancier, and like took these incredible pictures of whales and stitched them all together. And one thing that he kept mentioning in this book is how the whales always want to look at them. And you know, those whale eyes are like this big and they're just like, they're crazy looking because they're just so huge. And so I started thinking like, what can we know, not just about what we see of the whale, but what the whale can see of us. And one of the craziest things that I learned and what started me down getting really interested uh, in this, like down that path, is that whales can't see blue. So like the ocean, the blue whale and the blue ocean, like, they, see? they don't see it. Basically what we think they see is basically a black background with kind of like imagine like gray scale over the top. So like imagine you just like put someone against the screen, you took a photo of them and then you, you made it black and white against like a black screen. That's what they would see. So they see like movement and they see fish and stuff just against kind of nothingness of the ocean. But it's just like one of those things where we always assume that other things in the natural world like have the same perspective as we do. Yeah. And once you hear whales can't see blue, then it sort of does away with all that and you can go into it. So does that apply to like other fish or is that just a whale thing? They have different, um, it's actually, that's a, good, that's a really good question. So uh, some different, uh, some fish and some shrimp in fact, have the best color eyesight of all. So we see basically in three colors, right? Um, we have like receptors that can pick up like red, blue, and green, and that like makes all the colors that we see. There are these things called mantis shrimp, which are like little tiny shrimp that need really, really good color vision, and they can see like 30 colors. So they have on, like we see this little tiny part of the spectrum, which lets us see all the colors we see. They see colors we can't even see that you... There's colors yeah. we can't see? Yeah, there's colors we can't see, you know? It, it just looks like all the same color to you, and to them it looks like a bunch of different colors. Hmm. Isn't that insane? Right? And That's so ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's just, and I think the, the larger point is, right, that we have eyes that are like an optical system just like a camera, right? But that doesn't mean they're the only camera. There's like all these other cameras out there. And in fact, we build some of them, like our telescopes and our microscopes. They're all just like these other ways of seeing the world. And there's sort of like a nice metaphorical thing about that, right, too, right, that there's all these different ways of seeing the world, and one of the most interesting ways of getting stories about science in particular is to just like adopt the viewpoint of something or someone else and be like, how do they see this thing, right?